Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to record an electric guitar into Reaper and I'm also going to show you a couple of things to make the process more uh, streamlined and easier for when you're trying to lay down ideas and things like that. My name is Isaac Hernandez. I compose, I study and I teach music. Let's get started. <music> Okay, so first thing you want to do obviously is open up Reaper and create a new track and you can do that by just double clicking on this left hand side get you going really quick and then what you want to do is press this record arm here on the left this little red guy and it picked up my microphone right away so you just have to choose on whatever interface uh, you're using the input where your guitar is uh, plugged in mine just picks up my microphone automatically and technically from here you can start recording already you just have a dry signal right and that's it that's that's fine um i use uh native instruments guitar rig uh five i highly recommend but of course there are a bunch of um vsts out there that excuse me that will um will do the job so for example let me choose my one of my favorites preset and from here you get the sound cool that will do the job i close this up and of course sorry i forgot to mention this to load any effects it's this fx um guy right here and you're gonna get a list of if i wanted to add another one um a list of all your vst so wherever you have them stored and then from here, all you have to do is click this guy right here or press Control R and you're good to go. And that's it. And from here, you get these options, save all, rename, delete, uh, the selected one if you have a few, or you could uh, delete all. Let's listen back. I kind of have like a buzz going there, but that's okay for now. So if I delete that for now, we're good to go. Um, let me show you something that I like to do here. So if you um, turn on the metronome and then you right click it, you can control the volume, of course. And I, I always feel that um, on default, it's a little too low for my taste. Um, but a cool thing you could do is uh, select a count in before uh, recording. So what is that that's going to do is you select the number of measures that you want it to count off before you get going. That's obviously very useful. You can set it to count in before you play back. So even if you're listening back to your part, um, this is useful for when I'm experimenting with parts and I need to come in, in on, on time. So that that serves its, its purpose for sure. But most of the time I'm just using the count in before recording. And you'll hear if I press Control R. And all good to go. We get our count in. Cool. No problem. So another thing that I wanted to show you guys is I'll delete this again. Um, if you highlight an area, for example, uh, two bars and you turn on this repeat button that by pressing R on and off or of course you can click on it what that's gonna do is just gonna loop this area here obviously so if you're listening but what it's gonna let you do is also record in this area only and what you can do is do multiple takes back to back so check this out that's the first take, and here we'll go into the second one. And then another one. And then another one. And then space bar to stop the recording. Save all, I just press enter. And here, see, it is pretty cool. It kind of color codes them for you. Um, but see the first one, I didn't do anything. So this opens it up. If I right click that, I select them by left clicking and then I right click it and I go to take. And here it's nothing in it, I can delete it, right? And here, if I want to listen to the first take, I just highlight it. And then maybe 
I want to check out the second one. Third one. You get the idea. Well, another cool thing that you can do is delete active take. Like if you really messed one up or anything like that, you just get rid of it. So say, you know, the first one was no good. Delete boom but then out of the two say you still had the you know if you had maybe sometimes like 10 or anything like that um which does happen from time to time you can just select crop to at the take so what that's going to do is delete all the ones that are not selected so be careful with that but at shortcut is alt uh alt shift t and then i just keep my third so that's the one that i keep so that's pretty useful when you're just trying to lay down things or nail apart things like that last thing i want to show you guys is um this if what i like to do is record multiple guitar multiple parts um what i'll do is duplicate tracks rather than creating a new one and going through that whole thing again what i do is right click my track duplicate and that's going to duplicate the, the sound file as well. I just delete that Oop. without just selecting one. Here we go. And then I'm ready to go. If I need to tweak a sound or anything like that or select a different preset, that's going to be fine. But then I don't have to, you know, start from scratch. Don't forget to disable the other track because they're both enabled for recording. Um, but other than that, you're good to go. And that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, please leave them below in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching.